One day, two men went to the house of a Zen master. The first man visited the master in his room and said, Master, I am thinking of moving into this town. What's this town like? Is it nice? The Zen master looked at him and said, I'll answer your question, but first tell me, what was your old town like? It was dreadful. Everyone was hateful. I really couldn't stand them. I hated that town, you know. And so I wanted to move out. The man grumbled in response. This town is very much the same, the Zen master said. I think it would be better if you do not move in here. All right, the man said, contemplating the master's advice. Then he thanked him and left. Then the second man came into the room and said, Master, I'm thinking of moving into this town. What is it like? Is it nice here? Hmm. What was your old town like? asked the Zen master again. The man responded with elation. Ah, it was wonderful. Everyone was so friendly and I was very happy. It's just that now I'm interested in a little bit of a change. The man responded with a smile. Oh, how nice, said the Zen master. This town is also very much the same. I think you will like it here. You must move in at once. So my friends, good or bad experiences with people or circumstances isn't dependent on what is there outside, but on how we are inside. A kind, happy-go-lucky person will find reasons to be cheerful even amidst tough circumstances. But an unhappy person will find reasons to be sad even in the middle of all goodness. If we dwell in unhappiness, we will always find the world unbearable. But if we dwell in happiness, the world will be a paradise. So what kind of world would you choose for yourself? Thanks for watching. And if you find inspiration in wise words and stories, please subscribe to my channel for more. And stay simply wise.